Okay, so welcome to Math Storia and let's solve this problem. So determine the length of confidence interval using this given data. So the standard deviation, the sample size, and the confidence level. Then to find the length of confidence interval using this formula. So we have 2 times the confidence coefficient times the standard deviation all over the square root of the sample size. Then using this confidence level table to find the confidence coefficient. So to find now the length of confidence interval for this given, so we have now LCI equals 2 times the confidence coefficient since the confidence level is 99%, so therefore the confidence coefficient is 2.58 times the standard deviation, that's 5.36, then all over the square root of the sample size, so square root of 350. Then to find out the length of confidence interval, so we have 2 times 2.58 times 5.36 equals then divide the square root of 350 equals so the length of confidence interval is 1.4784. So we have 1.4784. Then for this given, so we have length of confidence interval, we have 2 times the confidence coefficient since the confidence level is 98%, so 98%, so the confidence coefficient is 2.33 times the standard deviation 2.35 over the square root of the sample size, so square root of 250. So to solve now for the length of confidence interval, so we have 2 times 2.33 times 2.35 equals then divide the square root of 250 equals so the length of confidence interval is 0 0.6926. So 0 0.6926. Then for this given, so we have LCI equals 2 times the confidence coefficient, so 95%, so we have 1.96 times the standard deviation, that's 1.20 over the square root of the sample size. So to solve now for the length of confidence interval, so we have 2 times 1.96 times 1.20 equals then divide the square root of 200 equals so that's 0 0.3326 so 0 0.3326 then for the last one so that's LCI equals 2 times 90% so 90% the confidence coefficient 1.645 times the standard deviation is 8.15 then over the square root of the sample size that's 29 so for the length of confidence interval so we have 2 times 1.645 times 8.15 equals then divide the square root of 29 equals so the length of confidence interval is 4.9791 so 4.9791 so this is how to compute the length of confidence interval